Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about an optimal way of checking for collisions with the default collider components inside of Unity. Um, so the method we're talking about is collider.cast. So this can be either done with Collider 2Ds if you're making a 2D game, or obviously Collider, uh, which would be for any 3D variant of the colliders. And you just call the .cast method, which takes a direction a contact filter. So the filter allows you to take some of the other colliders that it may collide into and to remove the ones you don't like based on things such as a layer mask. A reference to arraycast hit 2d array which just stores the results of this method into that and then you can check through all the hits. And finally the distance to check for. Now I believe there are other overrides for this like not including distance but this kind of makes the most sense for me because usually if you're going to check for a collision you want to check a certain distance. So what's really great about using uh, Collider2D.move Collider or Collider.move Collider is that there are different components for the colliders that may exist inside of your game. So obviously you can see here on this player game object right now I have a capsule collider 2D but there might also be let's say a box collider 2D and you're really not sure which kind of collider you're going to be using so without knowing that you can't exactly determine uh, where the collider should be casting from based on its shape and size. And that's why this method is so great because it'll take any 2D or 3D collider and it'll determine how it should be cast for you. So you just feed it these parameters and it will let you know if there's a collision or not. To point out another reason why this is so much better than let's say uh, just doing a simple ray cast in a direction. Um, if you have a collider on your object, uh, let's say you have the center of the object right here, right? And you try to do a ray cast out north of there. So that's fine. You can get a general sense of what objects might be in the direction. But let's say that your object is already halfway across to the left like this where the middle is somewhere around here and you check north because you're moving north on a grid it's not going to detect these uh tile map colliders over here because it's casting the ray cast from the center or the top over here but if you cast as a shape it's going to basically take this shape put it in that direction and if inside of the bounds uh it collides with anything like you move this half a unit and it checks everywhere inside its bounds for that collision, it's going to let you know that there's this uh, collidable object there and if you use it properly, uh, basically not allowing it to move if it detects a collision, then uh, you'll get the results you're looking for. So to show this in actual gameplay, since I'm using collider.cast instead, uh, instead of raycast, if I go over here just a little bit where the center is off balance, um, it's not going to let me keep progressing there because if we go back into the scene view, we, we can see if this collider went a little bit of a step further, it would in fact collide. But a raycast wouldn't detect that. A raycast would let us go up north, or in the case of this character down below, it would go let us go south and pass through it, which is not what we want. Um, so yeah, that's why I would just recommend using Collider2D.cast as long as you're not using the ECS system, which is currently in preview mode. I hope that they'll have something similar to this when it's done. But yeah, as long as you're still working with standard U Unity uh, components, then yeah, you can just use Collider2D.cast and basically all of the collisions are going to be checked for you because Unity has already done the math for you. So really useful. I uh, hope you guys learned a bit with collisions inside of Unity 2D and you can easily apply this to 3D as well. Once again, just use collider.cast instead of collider2d.cast. But aside from that, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future Unity content.